Hello, it's Andrew here, one of the product specialists here at Timon Volvo, and today I've got a fantastic bit of technology that has just come on the market that will go in both our Volvos and any non-franchise cars. So it is the DC4 Roadhawk camera. It is a front and rear camera system, which hardwires into the car, or you can run it off the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Then it also has 145 degree viewing angle on the front and 136 degree on the back, giving you a maximum field of view, making sure that if there is anything that you need to record, it will pick it up um, without any uh, blind spots on there. It is fully fitted into uh, the car in our workshop, comes with the hardwire kit as well, so you don't have to pay extra for that. And let's go have a look around. So you join me now inside the XC40 and you'll notice that the camera has been fitted just behind the rear view mirror just there. What that means is it's not going to get in the way and uh, it won't be a distraction while you're driving. So what it'll do is it'll carry on recording as you turn the ignition on and carry on driving as normal. And once it's filled the SD card, so that's the 128 gig SD card, it will go back to the beginning of the clips and will then start recording over them. So if there is any footage on there that you require, make sure you take it off as soon as possible after the incident, otherwise you may lose it. It does have the G sensor in there, so if it senses that you have any harsh acceleration or harsh braking, it will save that clip as an event. There's a different tab on the app, which we'll go through in a second, and that will uh, be protected after it's recorded over. So eventually they will fill up the SD card with protected clips, all you'll need to do is just go through and delete what you don't need. So to turn the camera on, all you do is you put the engine on on the car. You'll hear a little audible alert, just like so. And then it'll say recording starting. You can turn those um, alerts off, but it will tell you when GPS location is found, when it's lost, and uh, various different options like that as well. That's for normal driving, that's all you need to do. And then you just carry on driving as normal and eventually it will carry on recording over. If, however, you need to view the footage or send it to insurance company or the police, or if you just wanted to view the footage that you've already taken and send it to a friend or family, then what you'll need is to pair the app. Now, I'm going to do it on a Android tablet. can be done on an Android phone, iOS phone, or an iPad. So all you'll need to do is go and download the My Roadhawk app. So that's on App Store or on the Play Store, depending upon which uh, device you have. If we open it up, you'll get a little uh, message there just to say that it grants access to all the storage. And we go continue. And then it will go connect. So we click on connect. And then it will take you to your Wi-Fi setting. So what you're looking for is the M dash and then the, th uh, the five numbers afterwards will be the unique identifier for the camera. So if we click on there and then the password as default is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and connect. And then we'll wait for it to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network. It will say that there's uh, no internet, uh, internet on there. That is because it's just a connection between the tablet and the camera. So if we go keep Wi-Fi connection and then we go back, back into the app go to continue connect again and okay so if we go back into it then after we've connected to the Wi-Fi then you'll see it now says open dash cam so this is what you'll see every time that you go into the app from now on because we've paired the tablet to the camera so we go open dash cam and you'll see you then have your live view out of the front and you've got a little button there which will then show you the rear camera as well And you'll see it's then showing the rear camera back to the front as well. You can turn the audio recording inside the car on and off, depending on if you want it recording your audio or not. You can also take a picture, although it does have gesture control. So what you can do is underneath the camera, you can swipe your hand and you'll hear a little shutter icon to say that it's taking pictures. On there, you also have any of the settings. So you can change the video resolution, the length of the clip that you're currently recording. So it can be one, two or three minutes. What that means is it just means that you've got less clips to go through and search through if you uh, do need to uh, look at any of the, uh, the footage that's going back. Here also you've got your volume, 
storage management so you can uh, format the SD card or you can factory reset the device. If you need to view any of the footage you go to this little uh, file icon down the bottom and you'll see that all your cl uh, clips come up like so. You split it into front and rear so it's recording at the same time on both cameras and you've got normal and then you've got event. So at the moment it hasn't detected any of the event ones but that's where your protected clips will be. You can then click on it to open up the camera and open up the clip and then it will then play the footage back. You can then view the GPS location of where it is and then you can download it to the device. So after you've done this you don't need to connect to the camera to actually uh, have the footage showing. It saves it into the app on the uh, on the device for you. Inquire with us today at Tinlon Volvo to have this amazing Roadhawk DC4 fitted today.